Hey everyone, Mike here. So a lot of people know the tale of Peter Rabbit, right? It's a classic children's story written by Beatrix Potter. So I've been reading my son this, which as you can tell is in fact that story. And reading through the story, I thought there was one part in it that was a little unusual to be included in a children's story. But anyone who's not familiar with the tale of Peter Rabbit, I'll just give a quick summary of what the story's about. The tale of Peter Rabbit follows a rabbit named Peter. He lives with his mother and three of his siblings underneath a big fir tree. One morning, the mother rabbit leaves the home to go to the bakery to buy some bread. She tells her children that they can go into the field or down the lane, but not to go to Mr. McGregor's garden. Peter's three siblings listen to their mother and only go to the field, but Peter, who's usually pretty naughty, goes straight to Mr. McGregor's garden. Inside the garden, Peter ends up eating a lot of Mr. McGregor's vegetables. On his way to find more vegetables, Peter runs into Mr. McGregor, who chases him around the farm. Peter gets caught in a fence, and it looks like Mr. McGregor's going to capture him, but luckily he escapes at the last second. Peter then runs all around the farm, unable to find the exit. After running around for a little while, Peter does end up finding the exit and escapes. Peter finally then makes it back home where he is safe, but unfortunately he is sick probably due to all of the excitement that he had that day. So that's essentially the tale of Peter Rabbit. Nothing too unusual, nothing too dark, right? Well, I did skip over this one part in the story. When the mother rabbit warns her children not to go to Mr. McGregor's farm, she also mentions that their father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. <laughs> so that's a little dark, right? So essentially that's the mother telling her children, now don't you go to that farm because you know what happened to your father. He was murdered and then eaten by them. A little dark, right? I mean, I thought that was a little unusual to include in the story. And what's really fascinating about this is that they actually censored that in newer versions of this book. So this version has a copyright of 1986. I had a newer version of this book where they completely removed the part about the father being murdered. So the publisher was probably thinking, you know, that's a little bit too dark for a children's story, so they decided to remove it. But anyways, I just thought that was a little interesting. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.